stay fly, stay fly, stay fly. You might say, I want to study this other person who owns businesses, employs people, gives opportunity, and I want to do what they did. You might study them through books, you might study them through YouTube, you might study them through podcasts, but find somebody who's powerful and start doing what they're doing. Stay fly, stay fly. If you want to go to the next level, you have to do what next level folk do. Find somebody on that next level and start doing what they're doing, and you'll get it. You're listening to The Fly Guy Show. They do everything on the fly and in such a fly manner. Stay fly, stay fly, stay fly. Hey, this is Ernie Thomas here on the Bold School Podcast. You're listening to Psycho Vaughner's Fly Guy Podcast. Support, like, subscribe, and share. He's saying some good things. Share it. Don't keep it to yourself. truly embraced me and forced me to do a lot of things better in my life. As a young person, I would come to ATL and spend my summers here. And he always got me right before we hung out with the family so I wouldn't embarrass him. So uh, I'm glad to be up here and I promise I won't embarrass you. All right, uh, if I can get everyone to say this very quickly, American Job Centers. American Job Centers. American Job Centers. American Job Centers. I'll tell you why a little later. Uh, this, this talk is called I Want You to Be Powerful. I want you to be powerful. Now, there's three levels of people that I'm going to speak about. Powerful, valuable, and people with little value. Okay, so the powerful people can hire themselves and anyone else they want to hire. Or they can uplift themselves and anybody else they want to uplift. That's the powerful people. Let's let that marinate. Powerful people can hire themselves and anybody else they want to hire. Valuable people work for powerful people. Let that set in. Valuable people work for powerful people. And the highest level of being valuable is influential. So if you like the NBA, you know about uh, Draymond Green, right? He works for Mark Cuban. Now, many people think that Draymond is powerful. He's valuable. Mark Cuban is powerful. So, the valuable people are uplifted or they work for the powerful. And that includes athletes, workers, leaders, politicians, teachers, coaches, religious leaders, and presidents. They're all valuable. Now, a lot of times we get it twisted and we think that those people are powerful. They're influential, but they're valuable. So, I want all of these graduates to become powerful. All right, so powerful people have the resources to do what they want to do and they can employ others towards that end. Influential people have the ability to compel others to use their resources to achieve a vision or a goal. And some people have 
positional power. That means I put you in a position and you're able to do some things that make you seem like you're powerful, like our presidents. That's positional power. It's truthfully influential. So, I want you to be powerful. People with little value can't hire themselves gainfully. They can't maintain gainful employment. They always kind of need something from somebody. And valuable people work for powerful people. So, why am I talking about this at this juncture? Because as you go into your education, I want you to constantly think, this education is making me a more valuable person. And I'll be able to do some valuable things with this education. But my community needs powerful people. Our community needs powerful people. So, if you're a valuable teacher, when that cousin comes home from finding themselves, or maybe from incarceration, or maybe from drug abuse, or substance abuse, maybe they're coming home from a domestic violent or um, uh, an intimate violence situation, and they, they gotta find themselves, and they have nothing. Valuable people can only point them to powerful people. And if you're a valuable person, let's say you're a teacher, you can say, you may want to find a counselor to talk to. You might want to find a program to talk to. But that powerful person, and we all have at least one powerful person in our family, that person will say, come here, baby. You're going to do this. You're going to do this. You're going to do this. We need more of those people that can say, you're going to do this, this, and this. Now, let's not get it twisted. Powerful people are not necessarily rich. Powerful people are not necessarily rich. Financially. Financially. But they're always rich in opportunity. So, as you go off into your university, into your college... Keep thinking, how can I be powerful? Okay, I'm learning to become a doctor. How can I own the hospital? Or own a part of the hospital? Okay, I'm a teacher. How can I also set up my own tutoring program? And employ my peers who are not able to pass the teacher's exam, but they're better teachers than I am. So I set up my own program, even though I work in the school system. If I'm not a lawyer, how can I make partner and then set up something in the community where I can teach people about law? So when that person doesn't have the money to get that high-powered lawyer, they can come to my legal clinic and get high-powered support. If I'm, if I'm studying... They fly, they fly, they fly. They fly. Become a nurse. And I become a great nurse, how can I also open up a health clinic? And I'm going to name that health clinic to maybe my grandmother, maybe my uncle, somebody who did some great things for me, maybe my mother, my father, whoever. I need us, us, to start thinking about how we can become powerful. We have enough valuable people. And I'm not not, I'm, I'm valuable. I have a degree from Hampton University. That's real value. Clap that up, matter of fact. I also did go to some PWIs as well. So I have a uh, master's from Regent University in Virginia Beach and an endorsement in educational leadership from George Washington University. But that doesn't make me powerful. That just makes me a more valuable person. That means that school systems will look at me and say, oh, I need him. I need him. But them needing me doesn't help me employ my family when they're coming back. And that's what we need more of. Now, it doesn't mean that all of us are opening businesses. But it could mean that as a powerful teacher, I take a little bit of my income and I help invest in somebody who's working towards that end. It does mean that whatever I'm doing, I'm connecting myself with people who are doing things who will be able to support our people when they come back from whatever they're facing. When you look at some communities that self-employ, they have lower rates of crime, 
They have lower rates of unwanted pregnancy. They have lower rates of community upon community violence. They may start off poor, they end up rich. They self-employ. Many of those communities are communities of immigrants. They come here to the United States. The United States doesn't give them a really fair shake. Some tax, you know, benefits. But they come here and they have a hard time. They act, they employ themselves. And when they employ their children, children are, are out there wilding out. When they employ their children, they know where their children are at 10 o'clock at night. Now, this is not an indictment. This is saying that we may need to switch our mentality. Because I grew up, my parents said, go to school, get a good job. Go to school, get a good job. They were teaching me to be valuable. And the first step to becoming powerful is being valuable. So, go to school. Get a good job. That was lesson one. My parents didn't know there was a lesson two. Lesson two. Take that good job. Take that good education. Use it to build something that's going to help those who need help. Lesson two. So, powerful people consistently make decisions to empower their coveted people. So if you watch powerful people, they're always doing something for the people they cover, the people they love, the people they care for, the people that will help them stay in power. You've heard people say the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. That's dealing with habits. Rich people do things that keep them rich. Look, let me give you an example. If you want to be healthy, do what healthy people do, you'll eventually get there. If you want to be unhealthy, do what unhealthy people do, you're going to get there quicker. Let's let that sit in. That's kind of the law. That's kind of the law. So if you want to be powerful, first become valuable. Go to school. And then I want you to find somebody who is powerful and start doing what they're doing. Now you may not have to know this person. You might just say, I'm going to study Oprah and I'm going to watch what she did. You might say, I'm going to study um, this other person who owns businesses, employs people, gives opportunity, and I'm going to do what they did. You might study them through books. You might study them through YouTube. You might study them through podcasts. But find somebody who's powerful and start doing what they're doing. If you want to go to the next level, you have to do what next level folk do. Find somebody on that next level and start doing what they're doing, and you'll get there. So, in closing, I'd have to say this is actually a whole hour presentation, and I'm kind of condensing it to 12 minutes. Um, I'm really honored to be here, and I'm really more honored that I got a chance to say this. Because we need more powerful people. We need more powerful people. And you're in the right opportunity where you can go from valuable to opportunity. To, uh, from valuable to powerful quicker than we could have years ago. And I didn't know this until about five years ago. I didn't understand this until five years ago. You're getting it now. Just think how powerful you can be if you let this seed sit in and you water that seed, you let it grow over time, and then you do some powerful things after you become as valuable and influential as you can. And you don't need to know all the answers. The good thing about opportunity is if you step up to opportunity, something beautiful will come out of it that you didn't see coming. So, go to school. Get a good education. But while you're getting that good education, start finding powerful people. Study them. Do what they do. And everyone say American Job Center. American Job Center. We're going to practice becoming valuable, influential, and powerful. In every city, well not every city, in every municipality in our nation, there are something called an American Job Center. The federal government, the feds, the White House, they send money 
to these American job centers to help Americans get employment and get training. So, if you show up at the American Job Center and you say, I don't have a job, I need to get a job, they'll help you at no cost because the federal government pays for this. If you go to the American Job Center and say, I have a job, I need a better job, they'll help you because the federal government pays them to do that. If you say, I need training, I need to get this CDL, I need to get this uh, CNA, whatever, they pay for those trainings. The federal government wants us all to work so we can all pay taxes because that's how this thing works. Okay, I have a bit left. Okay, so I want you to talk to somebody who's not going to school and say, go to the American Job Center and tell them you need a job or you need a better job or you need training. Now, I went to one in Virginia. It's normally a three-step process before we can get somebody from the time they walk in to we can get them connected with some of the employers. It's a three-step process. People punk out on step two because they want it to happen to you. But we're looking at careers with American job centers, not just little quick jobs. So, your duty, your job, your homework is talk to two of the people you know who are not going off to college and tell them to go to an American job center. Let them get employed. Let them get trained. And then stay in contact with them. So while you're rising up, they're rising up as well. That's your first step to becoming powerful. Because when you put that person in a position where they get a job and they'll be at your wedding 10 years from now and saying, I listened to this person and now I have a home. Now I have a car. That level of influence that you just worked on will lead you to people that will make you powerful. Get a good job, become valuable, become powerful because we need you. Thank you. The views expressed on the Fly Guy podcast by the guests of the Fly Guy podcast are only the views of the guests, unless we say we agree, unless explicitly stated. Stay <laughs> fly, stay 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 fly. Stay conscious. Stay fly.